You see here that Bank Social is up 215.63% in the last seven days. Sitting at 0.002423. It's down about 13.5%. So what's up with Bank Social? Well, I'm going to show you what's up with Bank Social. That's what's up with Bank Social. Okay. So, I mean, my God, we saw this around the 0. 3066. It ate a zero. Okay. And a lot of you guys like Tim Shea, Mike Cornwell, um, have basically let me know that, hey, um, you know, I did a 3X. Some of you guys, of course, did an 8X, but in reality, you would have had that have been incredibly lucky to pull out at that time. So bank social. Now you got to keep in mind that this is incorrect about this total supply, and we'll get into that. That's going to be towards the end of the outline. CMC has these numbers wrong. Why are they doing that? Well, from what I've gathered from the community, um, they have been contacted to fix this. Is this another case of Binance manipulation since Binance owns, you know, CMC? <clears throat> Could very well be. But let's take you to this instead. This is straight from their official X account. This was, of course, posted last month, but it's going to uh, make sense for the outline. So I want to point out some of these key things for you guys. Bank Social App is your gateway to a complete self-custody solution for crypto and open banking. Think about how that sounds for a second. So we know that Hedera has mentioned numerous times, and even recently with the announcement with teaming up with Algorand, that you're going to have what they call DREC. This is a decentralized, um, re, you know, recovery service or, uh, you know, decentralized seed recovery. Now, some people, I've seen some of the comments, think that's a bad thing. They're like, there's nothing decentralized about that. If they have the ability to give it back to you, they have the ability to take it away, yada, yada. It's all about trust. At the end of the day, it is trust. I mean, do you trust them or you just don't like the idea of them having that power? Wherever you want to call it, I look at it, in my humble opinion, the pathway towards mass adoption because it instills confidence that if you have, for instance, people in the future where this ends up being their first entry point into crypto instead of something like, you know, Robin Hood, that it instills confidence that, hey, guess what? I'm Granny Goose or whoever, you know, super old lady, grandma, whatever. And if... I don't know what I'm doing, you know, that particular lady, person, old man, whatever, even younger people, whatever the case be, just illiterate with this, that you can have something as a backup to recover it. Let's face it, guys. I mean, that's a real thing, whether you're on board with it or not. You can get the uh, app over at the App Store, Google Play. Like it says, get the wallet.com. And how does it look? Well, there it is. Now, I haven't had a chance to try this out. But I'm looking into like, yeah, you know, probably would make sense. Now, this was, of course, posted, uh, excuse me, posted December 14th. That was 2.0. They probably have like a two point whatever update since then. Getting more into this. We're not going to end it there. Um, there's a little bit more. And here it is. <clears throat> this was posted earlier today, I guess, roughly three, four hours ago. And here it is. What is this about? Well, in regards to Bank Social, like it says, they are now officially default listed on Saucer Swaps after passing the Saucer Swap DAO vote. Congratulations to the BSL DAO. Token ID is that. Um, it's a new listing alert. And here's the thing that you want to draw emphasis to, okay? <clears throat> it's this. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you back to uh, the listing on CMC. But here it is. <clears throat> excuse me and when we go to markets i was discussing this with mr mike cornwell um who does want to make it be clear that you know the bag of you know what but i point this out to him i say hey look 
So for one, we had this whole thing about this volume and massive volume. Now at the time, I think the volume was like uh, 767,000. This is like, I think yesterday or the day before I was talking about this with them. I said, saucer swap. I said, look at this. You have a pairing of H bar slash BSL. So this whole talk about like, you know, this partnership, what they got going on with Hedera and so on. This right here has the most volume. Second most is Uniswap, right? So my thing is this, the value of exchange tokens and the enablers or the platforms, for instance, um, I think is big. For Saucer Swap to have this pairing of HBAR with BSL, obviously it's going to significantly uh, save people on gas fees. I mean, yes, there's a lot of volume on Uniswap, but why is that? Think about it. Well, it's, it's because a lot of people still have ETH or wrapped ETH, um, and they're wanting to pair it up, purchase it that way. They got to do what they got to do. You may also have pe people who just don't, they don't even realize or aware of saucer swap, but that is a game changer for um, not only Hedera, but for bank social, especially because <clears throat> you got to keep in mind, allows a tremendous amount more of what guys like new liquidity pouring in that's a that's a diff that's a big difference in regards to volume and of course like you see up 210 percent give or take on the last seven days um so there's that jumping back into this for a second <clears throat> let's take you to this it says are you a bsl bnb holder We've incorporated a single bottom migration that covers all of the fees and converts your BSL tokens from BNB chain to Hedera, how, in one click. That's also very, very cool. You know, people don't want to jump through all the hoops of, you know, um, converting things. I mean, I think, for instance, I, I had to go on Trust Wallet. I had to buy, uh, what was it? Um, you know, Binance Smart Chain, like the regular BNB, was it the black one, right? Black and yellow, and there's another one, you know, and then uh, had to have so much of that, convert a particular token, blah, blah, blah. But for one click, again, this is back to the whole thing of, again, somebody's new. You know, what is Hedera looking to accomplish with, for instance, decentralized seed recovery, the DREC alliance with with Algorand? It's, it is the pathway forward towards more adoption, whether... Again, people don't like the idea like, hey, if they had the power to put it back in, they had the power to take it away. I get it. We can agree to disagree on that all day long. But like it says, download the bank social app, migrate now, migrate with one click. Again, a platform where you make things easy for people, word of mouth gets around. It definitely does. Do we see the blast off again for bank social? I think we could. How soon? I don't know. Not a you know fortune teller, but I thought that was significant. Uh, there's some Ricola. Wow, Ricola. Well, hmm. I wonder if anybody would use this as their avatar and then just go to the Crypto Hulk show and then drop them like a five dollar super chat of cough drops. All right, I know some people say stop saying that. You should not go after your YouTube brethren. It's just a joke. I have nothing against them personally. All right. Let's go to the next part. Uh, bank social. The time is finally here. Is it? Or is this just old news? Not old news. But it says the BSL to Hedera migration is available, of course, on the bank social app. Again, pounding at home. Um, it is live. It already happened. And that, of course, was four days ago. So it's kind of old. <clears throat> All right. This part is the part that I really want to address as one of the main key topics of the night. Because again, back to the whole thing of what? This. This whole thing of seeing a total supply of 10 trillion BSL. That is not true. It's not 10 trillion. So is there anything solid in that regard posted here? Well, yeah. Let's take it back to this. So what you see here, I think is crucial. And basically speaking, you know, I could, I guess I could put like that on anyway. Um, but eh, I guess I'll leave it up anyway. So yes, to all investors researching BSL tokenomics, CMC data is old and not updated yet. 
even though the BSL team itself reached out many times. And this is where a lot of people are just, it's just like, what is wrong with, you know, CMC? And then again, this fuels the argument of, well, yeah, if they got multiple notifications from the actual confirmed accounts of people that are part of the dev team or uh, the management team over at Bank Social and so on, then how long does it really take to just update, you know, that listing? Could it be a case of manipulation? Well, it won't be the first time. The correct information is 20 billion max supply. That is so significant compared to 10 trillion. That is, oh my gosh, like, you know, literally a, you know, a night and day difference. 5 billion has been permanently burnt. Mike Cornwell pointed that out. So 15 billion is the correct max supply. My God, 15 billion versus um, 10 trillion? All 15 billion coins are in circulation. Wow, that's significant. Why is that so significant? Because like we point out before, whether it's a bear market or it's a bull market, you are not going, especially in a bull market, you're not necessarily have to feel like, you know, you're chasing this uphill. You know, we point out before, if you haven't seen the video, um, it's called, you know, understanding tokenomics. It's in the video section. It's an old video from a couple of months ago, but significant because it points out some key things in regards to um, understanding that, you know, like if a token only had like 1% um, in circulation, and there is not a uh, a total or max supply like it's infinite or there's no word about it, then you are taking on more risk. It may seem like, wow, man, this coin is really pumping. But if you're looking at it for like long-term hold, then those are some concerning things, right? So to see this information, about 15 billion coins that are in circulation, I think that makes it that much more bullish for bank social. I'm just going to be honest about that. I, th I think that's great. Um, and who confirms this? Well, it's their president. This is uh, this guy right here, John Wingate. And you're going to see a video here in a bit in regards to some of the things he's got to say. Um, and also from this guy who is H bar of Wall Street. I'm going to give this guy a follow because he got some good uh, news. Um, he has, you know, gathered that the market cap is around 20 million and he's still researching this. But, you know, in that regard, you don't see necessarily a confirmed market cap, but we're, you know, come on, guys. You've seen what you spent for your bag. Like Mike Cornwell was mentioning, I don't know if he's okay with this. I think he is, but you know, something like around $500 worth, give or take. And you see it 3X or you see 8X. Of course, it has a pullback. I don't care who you are. If you're doing a 2X, 3X in anything, you're doing something right. Okay. So get credit where credit's due. Tim Shea, Mike Cornwell, all you guys, right? So Bank Social, like it says, is one of the best and most unique projects out there to migrate to, of course, Hedera. And the future, of course, um, looks very bright. And I would totally agree. And also this part, about 4% tax on all transaction funds, uh, the lending stake pool. Now, why is that point out? Point out because Bank Social is looked to be as that platform as like a, you know, like a credit union. Now, are there, is there other credit unions that are similar? <clears throat> there are. There's one I talk about quite a bit. Um, not necessarily in the live show a lot, but I, you know, I did my first videos on Clearpool. Clearpool has a similar use case, you know, um, not exactly the same, but Clearpool also, you know, had been doing well. And the way I look at it is the difference, especially when it comes to this, is it's this is with Hedera. You know, we talk about going green. So all this stuff is coming together and it's significant, especially the pairing with HBAR and getting that on saucer swap. <clears throat> now, let's jump over to this message. You're going to see a short video from the president, you know, President Hoddle. That's a cool name. John Wingate. He says, we need your vote to place a bank social, Hedera, and credit unions in the spotlight at Consensus 2024. That in itself sounds so bullish, in my opinion, because um, this is a small market cap gem, in my opinion, also. You can vote on this. Um, if you're wondering how to go about this, I have retweeted the info 
or if you just want, you could go to consensus2024.coindesk.com and then you'll see the different listings for all the community ones. Pick the one for Bank Social. Contribute, especially if you hold this, right? I mean, you're just kind of doing your community share of, you know, contributing. So we're going to go ahead and play this. Again, it's only 33 seconds and listen to what he has to set state. We appreciate the coverage, especially on Bank Social. Please smash the like. It does help kick in the algorithm to get this out to a more broader base. Here we go. Hey, everyone. It's John Wingate. Consensus 2024 is coming soon in May, and we need your help to get the word out and get the vote out. Please click the link above. Vote for us. TradeFi isn't the enemy yet, I believe, is the name of that. Um, we'll get it going. Got to get back to work. Big things coming soon. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Okay. So in conclusion, I'm going to share, of course, just some brief notes with you guys. So my thing is this, you know, all this is happening with bank social. Um, a lot of you guys have been paying attention to, you know, the charts, obviously. Um, we saw this whole thing about this migration, um, especially with one click, especially when it comes to, you know, Binance, or I should say, for instance, um, yeah, Binance basically, right? This migration that happened, that was significant pump that we saw recently. And then the next part, especially with this last one, is that migration over to saucer swap and having that pairing. What happens when you get a case of more downloads, more people using this, and of course, more people getting whiff of, hey, I don't have to use Ethereum with the pairing. I don't have to use Uniswap as the platform to go to. I could just go straight to Hedera with saucer swap and do it that way kind of like similar to like what you guys have been doing with you know your lobster wallet you know stellar xlm the pairing with for instance um you know shx yeah very similar so more people are going to know about this well the volume will increase like i say you're going to see parabolic pumps anytime soon like tomorrow but i will state this i would be paying attention to this particular news and that news is anything mentioned or hinted that CMC finally did an update in regards to what is shown on their tokenomics for the circulating supply and, of course, the, the, the max and total supply of Bank Social. Keep in mind this. Whether you agree with the CMC platform or not, it is a point of entry for a lot of people. That is a go-to place for a lot of people. People see that my God, what happened here? And you got to keep in mind that does trigger in a sense of like, hey, there's a significantly like less amount here. This thing has been doing well. What's going on with this? And I think to a sense, you will also see confirmed market cap instead of that little box um, icon that says caution. Uh, we have unconfirmed market cap. So once you have confirmed market caps, that in itself, dramatically increases the ranking on cmc so do you see bank social sitting at i, I can't remember the exact number but in the 2000s like 2705 or whatever it is i don't think so so i think with the combination of those factors that i outlined um don't be surprised if you see it actually move and all the more for having a cmc account if you don't like it because you can create a free account, add Bank Social to your watch list, and pay attention to, you know, hey, guess what? Something changed here, and, and something something's definitely going on. Now, you of course, many of you guys have different software where you keep track of what's moving and what isn't, and so on. But it's definitely something to pay attention to, and I of course will pay more attention to this as well, um, because that could be the next big positive catalyst. When it comes to bank social.